so I have a question regarding uh, relevance basically because in today's world, uh, most people are trying a lot of things, just trying to stay relevant in or making themselves noticed. And they're trying different things like writing stories or books or, or uh, even making movies, reels or uh, on short uh, on TikTok. So uh, what are the challenges that one faces while uh, trying to keep themselves relevant in the modern world? Now, why do you want to be relevant and to whom? What do you mean by relevance? You want to be important to others, right? As in, uh, yeah, in a form of sort of self-actualization, you want to uh, realize yourself to your uh, to others as well as, uh, I think, uh, value yourself. No, I'm not getting the connection you are drawing. How is self-actualization related to being relevant to others? Um, I think people do find, uh, there are people who find uh, value in being valuable to others okay. and being valuable to yourself. Okay. okay. Now that's quite false and very dangerous, no? If your self-image or self-esteem depends on the opinion others have of you, right? I made a good uh, TikTok video or a Facebook reel and it got appreciated, it got a million views and that makes me feel very, very good about myself. Is that not very dangerous? Are you not exposing yourself to a very bad kind of slavery? Hmm? Who am I is being determined by the entire world. You are allowing a billion people to become your masters. If they approve of you, you are great. If they don't, you are gone. Hmm? Uh, this will lead to a terrible kind of psychosis. You'll always be looking at others. In fact, you'll always be looking in others' eyes to see how you look. Hmm? That's not a free position to be in. What is that? If I have to constantly keep wondering what others might be thinking of me, I cannot be called a free person. Are, are you seeing this? Hmm? See, this is the nature of the world. If you get too dependent on anything it offers, you have condemned yourself to slavery. And fame is one of the most seductive things that the world offers. Do not be addicted to this seduction. Hmm? Similarly, prestige, money, power. You are not born with those things, nor will you carry those things when you are gone. They were given to you in the world by the world and if the world can give these things to you the world can also withdraw them and you will live in constant fear of that withdrawal today people are liking you tomorrow they may not today somebody professes closeness to you tomorrow that person might drift away you say you have so much money today, the government might freeze your bank accounts tomorrow. Is that money really yours? Even the body, it does not follow your commands. Tomorrow the doctor may declare you have cancer and four months to live. Even the body is not really yours. It can deceive you and desert you any time. What is the point in then remaining dependent on anything that the world gives you? Some ideology you are greatly invested in. Tomorrow you might find that ideology falsified. Or some concept, principle, dogma, anything you believe in, all those beliefs can be shattered in one minute. 
therefore vedant teaches you to live only in that which is timeless that which no moment in time can take away from you that which is not a product of the world that which is not arising in the stream of time therefore is unavailable to the world to blemish or time to destroy it is untouchable why not live in that and when you live in that then there is a great security a great sense of security higher than all kinds of uh, shallow self esteems it's confident confidence that we run after and the confidence that you get when you are not dependent on anything is unmatchable hmm? is it not one of the mantras of today feel confident act self assured but how can you act self assured when like a puppet your strings are in 47 hands there is no self hmm? when you say self you mean something original something authentic something of your own if everything about you is being commanded by others is dependent on others then do you even have a self do you even exist hmm? if you don't exist what self assurance are you talking of hmm? the confidence that you have when you are not dependent on anything hmm? when everything that you have or carry or are associated with is just something you take very lightly wear very playfully and won't be too sad or dejected or destroyed if taken away then there is a then an unspeakable pleasure in living one cannot uh, talk very clearly and convincingly of that freedom that joy hmm? it is only to those who live it it is not a subject that you can hear of and judge are you are you getting it and then do you not create instagram reels then do you not relate to others then you do but in your freedom and these are two very different things one is to create a video so that others may applaud and the other is to create a video because there is already an inner reverberation an internal applause constantly there and out of that applause the video is arising hmm now you are not standing in front of your audience as a beggar please 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 applaud it share it like it whatever make it viral no i'll do what i want to do after that if it does well great if it does not do well still i'll continue to do what i do hmm? because my art my creativity then is not arising out of a need to get fulfilled it is arising out of an already fulfilled state you get the difference there is a creator or a writer or an actor or whosoever anybody who does anything who is acting so that he may gain something and then there is somebody who acts because he already has everything in the psychological sense from that internally fulfilled state you get great pieces of creativity the highest products of art literature and science that the world has seen yeah thank you thank you sir